Welcome back from the break. Now, the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, Partnership for Education in Ghana, has officially presented additional teaching and learning materials for English to schools across the country. The project is expected to enhance the teaching and learning of the English language at a basic level. Join us as Tasha Michelle was at the presentation ceremony in Accra, and here is her report read to you. The Ministry of Education has taken delivery of over 3.7 million English teaching and learning materials from the USAID to enhance effective teaching and learning of the subject in the country. Speaking at the presentation ceremony, the Education Minister, Dr. Yaose Duchum, outlined the importance of providing pupils with English books. Today we have English study and some people will say, why didn't you do mathematics? Literacy, proficiency in English is so critical. Around the world, the World Bank measures what they call learning poverty. And when they talk about learning poverty, they look at students in uh, fourth grade or age 10, and they look at how many of them can read for understanding. In developing countries, 87% of students cannot read for understanding. And that's a tragedy. If you are not proficient in English, you don't have access to the content in all the other subject areas. So this effort by USAID to support what they began with the uh, literacy in various subjects, in terms of, in various languages, and then the transition to English began. And this is a continuation of the path to transition to English so that we have students who are proficient in the English language and could therefore access the content in mathematics, access the content in RME and all the subjects, the sciences that we teach at the basic school level. The minister also commended the management of Buck Press for ensuring the printing of such quality books and urged Ghanaians to engage the services of local printing companies, which will ultimately create employment. So I want to appreciate Buck Press for the great job that they have done. You go to Buck Press and you see sometimes here about the fact that in Ghana we don't have a maintenance culture. I tell them it's not maintenance culture, we don't have a maintenance budget. But Buck Press have maintenance budget. So when you went in there, the place is so clean and beautiful. And we truly appreciate your sense. The government is doing so much to bring about transformation. We also want to make sure that we create jobs. And Buck Press had told me, as a result of this, they were able to create 50 jobs, more jobs, than normally they will have. So I appeal to all those printing materials in the private sector, the corporate sector, turn to our Ghanaian printers and help us create jobs here. The same way USAID did. We wouldn't have begrudged them if they said it's coming from America. After all, it's American tax dollars at work. But they brought it to Ghana, and it created jobs for us. So those of us in this country, in the private sector and the public sector, let us turn our attention to our own printing presses. Use them, and when you use them, not only are they doing quality, international level work, but they're also creating jobs for the Ghanaian. In an interview with the U.S. Ambassador to Ghana, Virginia Palmer said the U.S. government is ready to continue to support the country through the provision of quality education. 3.7 million additional textbooks. We have already provided 11 million textbooks in local languages, and these books are in English as, the, as kids make the transition from local languages to English programs. So there are word cards and books and materials for teachers, and we provide some training as well to support that. And I'm very pleased pleased to work so closely with the Ministry of Education on this great program that helps kids learn to read. This program I think is about five million dollars um, and then it's a total of 30 million I believe. The bilateral relations between the United States and Ghana which dates back to several decades is being strengthened daily. Tasha Michelle's report for Joy News.